Cardinal Zuppi returns to Moscow in search of peace. In a world where hope seems scarce, Cardinal Matteo Zuppi has embarked on a crucial mission. This Monday, the president of the Italian Episcopal Conference returned to Moscow as a peace envoy of the Vatican under the mandate of Pope Francis. His goal, to assess how families separated in Ukraine can be reunited and to facilitate the exchange of prisoners, bringing us one step closer to the long-awaited peace. Cardinal Zuppi's visit is not just a diplomatic trip, it is a gesture of humanity. Last week, Pope Francis met with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, and now Zuppi is shaking hands with Russian authorities, including Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. This movement symbolizes the Vatican's commitment to opening paths toward reconciliation. Zuppi had already traveled to Moscow in June 2023, where he discussed humanitarian initiatives and the delicate situation of more than 19,000 Ukrainian children who have been taken to Russia. Thanks to his efforts, some of these children have been able to return home. This shows that even in the midst of adversity, hope is still alive. But the Cardinal's work does not stop there. He has made diplomatic visits around the world, always with the same objective, to promote peace. With close ties to the community of Sant'Egidio, Zuppi is in a unique position to be a messenger of peace, although the Vatican clarifies that its mission does not seek to be a direct mediation. The history of this conflict is long and painful. Pope Francis has denounced the war and has repeatedly called for an end to the violence. In his recent speech, he made a clear call. Stop the killing of innocent people. His cry resonates in the hearts of those who long for a world without wars, where suffering and division have no place. The situation in Ukraine is a reflection of the challenges facing our world in general. Every conflict, every war brings with it a torrent of pain, not only for those directly affected, but for all of us as humanity. In the midst of these difficult times, peace is not just a desire, it is an urgent need. Let us pray that Cardinal Zuppi and other leaders seeking peace find the wisdom and courage to build bridges instead of walls. Let us pray for those who have been displaced, for the families that have been separated, and for all those who suffer because of war. At this time of crisis, it is also essential to remember that peace begins in our own hearts and communities. May our prayer and actions be aligned with the pursuit of justice and reconciliation. Together, we can be instruments of peace in a world that so desperately needs it. May the intercession of Our Lady of Fatima illuminate the path toward a future without wars where love prevails over division. Let us pray fervently for peace in Ukraine and throughout the world. Amen.